Speaking of gardens, wait till you see a garden we found in Pulaski. It is unbelievable. Lee James and his grandson Cody work really hard in this garden, and let me tell you, it really pays off. Take a look. Oh, it's probably about uh, four years now. Uh, I retired a few years ago, and it's something I always wanted to do. Every year it seems like it gets maybe a little bit bigger. Uh, this year it's a little bigger than what it was last year. No, I think that's big enough. <laughs> that keeps me pretty busy. You know. But we do everything by hand and and not with big, just little rototillers and all that kind of stuff, but everything is done by hand. So, planting and everything. We have, our, we have the raspberries, peas, cucumbers, uh, muskmelons, watermelons, uh, pumpkins, and this here is our sweet corn and popcorn. I got, I grow popcorn every year too. I get a, I got a couple rows of popcorn right here, and uh, the rest is sweet corn here. Then I have some, uh, our cabbage. We have. Uh, just about ready to cut our cabbage. We got some nice cabbage this year. And I have red cabbage down, down a little farther. These are our cucumbers. We got uh, five rows of uh, the pickling cucumbers here. And then I have one row of the slicers. Uh, and the watermelons this year haven't done real, real good. They're starting to come pretty good now. I have watermelons here and muskmelons on the other end. Here are our tomato plants. Uh, we have like 80, 80 tomato plants in here and they're loaded with tomatoes this year. So, now the onions, why they're broke down is because I cut the tops off them and then after they get a little bit bigger then I stamp them down so the tops quit growing and, and the onion grows. Well, we, sell, we take some to markets and then we sell it here out on the road and people come by and we put, a, put up a little stand here and sell it, some of it on the road. So this, we had a part of this flower garden was on uh, a couple years ago we put it on and this year she added all, all this around the whole flower garden, all this new and all these new flowers. Uh, she added in here uh, for this year. So it made it pretty nice uh, flower garden. Early this year, we widened it from right here to the end of there. And then we just had a big tractor come in and till it all up. And then we put some plastic down, or we put the flowers in all by hand and shovel. And then we put some plastic all around them so the weeds can't grow up too fast. And then we put some mulch on. And then we just decorated it. And it took a while for us to do all this. And a lot of people think that's easy, but it's actually pretty hard. And it's hard to keep these flowers living. You gotta miracle grow them. And then they get to be a good flower bed like this. I guess I'm doing what I enjoy doing. <laughs>